Hello everyone, welcome to this exciting world of open source software. My name is Kannan Maudgalya, I am from IIT Bombay. I am going to give a talk on uh, Scilab. I hope that at the end of this talk, you will all migrate to using Scilab. So, let us get started. Here is the outline of my talk. I will not go through this right now. Let us get on with introduction. Let us start with uh, FOSS, which denotes free and open source software. The commercial software can be very expensive and heavy penalties if unauthorized software is used by industry. Our small and medium scale enterprises do not use any software. The reason is that commercial software is expensive and they are not aware of open source software. So, it is our obligation in academia to expose our students to use free and open source software or FOSS. If you do not do this, our small companies will not be competitive. I conclude this slide by saying there is no alternative to FOSS. Some more reasons why we should use FOSS. It is free of cost, it is affordable to industry, it allows learners to become better programmers. Imagine giving a car to somebody, a car mechanic and telling him not to open the hood. Open source software makes available the code, students can open them, see what is inside and so on, modify them, improve them and things like that. Open source software can also grow through collaborative contribution. We will explain this in this talk. So, should we not use proprietary software at all? I am not saying it. Use it when it is absolutely required, but wherever possible use open source software or FOSS. Problems with open source software are good documents are missing, lack of support and wrong impression about the quality. So, we are going to address all of these in particular, the first one documents, we are going to address them through spoken tutorial and textbook companion. We will begin with Scilab, which is a FOSS alternative to the popular software MATLAB. Scilab is an excellent open source software. It is a good substitute for MATLAB about 95 percent compatible with MATLAB and XCOS, which also comes free of cost with Scilab is a good alternative to Simulink. Scilab has excellent computational environment, it has LinPack, IcePack, LawPack, it also has Docile, ODE Pack, etcetera. These are all amazing computational environments, which are also used in MATLAB. Because these are outstanding numerical computational engines, Scilab also is absolutely reliable. So, how reliable is Scilab? I will explain this with an example. CNES is a French aerospace corporation. It has helped launch many of our satellites. It launches Ariane rockets. There was a GSAT 16 launch by Ariane. Let me uh, click this. It takes it to this article, business line article, which says that India's communication satellite GSAT 16 was launched successfully. So, you can see here GSAT 16. on board Ariane space rocket from the spaceport of French Guiana. 
all right so what about it how is it connected with scilab so let's come here CNES relies on Scilab for many critical calculations, trajectory, flight dynamics, orbit, etc. Here is a talk by Martin of CNES on Scilab. So, let me click this. Let me zoom it a little bit. So, here is the first Scilab user conference that was held in 2009 and in that conference I talked about the national mission on education through ICT, I was the keynote speaker and lo and behold I talked about open source software. The talk is available here in case you want to go through it, but here we are interested in the talk by Martin. So, let us click this. It gives a summary of this, you can read this, let me zoom it a little bit. Now, if I click this, I will get the PDF file, okay, it has come here, we open that. So, you can see that Martin talks about use of Scilab for space mission analysis and flight dynamics activities and you can see that Scilab is now widely used in CNES in various engineering fields such as telecommunications, RF analysis, navigation, attitude control system analysis and dot dot dot. Okay. And he goes on talking about how Scilab is used in CNES, when we go to the end of this slide. Scilab is widely used within the CNES flight dynamics departments and so on. So, let us come back here. So, I always ask this question, if CNES can use Scilab for launching Ariane rockets, one of which launched our GSAT 16 communication satellite, using which possibly I am communicating, I am connecting with internet. If Scilab is good enough for that purpose, is it not good enough for your optimization problem, for plotting a 3D graph or to solve FFT or to solve a control problem? Of course, it is good enough. Scilab is a great software and it is free and you will see many more nice things about it. So, do not leave any time until the end of this talk. So, let us go to the next slide. There are few more examples of Scilab use as given by the Scilab website. Let me click this. So, they have given lots of case studies, model reduction, this is flight dynamics this is um, diesel engine, let me just click this, let us see what happens. You can study more about it if you are interested in. You can see many more examples here. So, if somebody says that if you learn only Scilab, you would not get a job, do not believe them, they have vested interest, that is why they are telling that. So, let us come back here. So, I will give a brief demo of Scilab. For this purpose, I have opened a Scilab already. It is very easy to uh, plot Scilab. So, let me plot a 3D graph. It produces amazing quality uh, plots. You can create matrices easily. So, let me create a matrix A equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0. So, I have got this matrix. So, I want to calculate suppose 
determinant of A. I can calculate this if I want to calculate the eigenvalue of matrix using the command spec which stands for spectrum. I can calculate the eigenvalue. You can do lots of nice things. Let me give a brief demo of some of the other nice things available that come with Scilab. Let me click this here. That gives you a lot of demonstrations. Now, let us go to graphics. Let us go to 2D and 3D plots. So, here are some examples of 2D plots, some other plot. So, let me do it again. So, let us plot this. We close this. So, let us plot a 3D plot. Here it is. There are lots of nice features. I would want you to explore it whenever you have an opportunity. It is very easy because you can download Scilab directly from the website scilab.org, install it, use it and enjoy. So, I calculated uh, the determinant and eigenvalues, I showed some plots, I showed some demos.